Hi everybody. Is your Windows PC stuck at 100% disk or CPU usage? Don't worry, you are not alone it's a common problem. In this video, I will show you an easy fix using my powerful free tool, the VMTex 100% Disk Usage Fixer Batch File. This batch file is designed to optimize your system, clear malware and unnecessary files, and disable services that hog your computer performance with 100% CPU or disk usage. I will explain what the batch file does, how to use it safely, and how to perform any solutions that require additional manual steps. But before we begin, here are a few important tips you should know. By using this tool, you won't lose any data or harm your system. Instead, the tool will automatically enable several protective settings and performance enhancements. Plus, every change made by the tool can be easily reverted to its previous state if it doesn't resolve your issue. High disk or CPU usage can result from various causes, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. That's why I have compiled the most effective fixes into this tool. Always create a backup of your data using this batch file or by your own method. Make sure to restart your computer after applying any suggestion. Make sure to download the batch file directly from my website, vmtex.com, to ensure its safety and integrity. Review the script content if you're tech savvy, so you understand what it's doing. The mentioned services and features were designed by Windows to enhance system performance on newer and compatible computers. However, on older computers, they have been found to cause 100% disk or CPU usage. Therefore, if disabling a service doesn't resolve the issue, it's important to re-enable that service before trying another suggestion. Here's a quick breakdown of the tool functions. The tool can do or undo the following changes automatically. Enable system protection and create a restore point in a registry backup. Restore the system to a previous restore point. Update windows, repair system updates, or remove problematic updates. Clean the disk by deleting temporary files and prefetch data, then defragment the disk to optimize performance. Disable hibernation. Repair system files using DISM and SFC commands. Fix disk corruption using the check disk tool. Remove viruses and malware using Microsoft Defender offline scan. Disable problematic services, such as Windows Search and Indexing, Sysmain, or Superfetch. Disable compressed memory or modify virtual memory and paging file size. Disable the AHCI controller driver. Using the VM text fixer is easy. Here's how. Download the batch file and place it in a folder of your choice. Double click the batch file to run it. The batch will run as administrator automatically. This is important because the commands require elevated permissions. Before trying any solution, you have to create a restore point by typing 1 and pressing enter. If the system protection is disabled, the batch will enable it and then create a restore point. Now, type 4 and press enter to open the main menu of the suggested solutions. All suggested solutions can be applied interactively by simply entering the corresponding number for each solution and pressing enter. However, these suggestions require additional manual steps as you will learn next. To remove a problematic update, type 1 and press enter, then select the fourth option. On Windows 10 and Windows 11, the Update History app will open, allowing you to identify the most recent update easily. On Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows Vista, a list of recent package updates will appear in the batch console. Type the package number of problematic update into the batch console without KB prefix and then press enter. If removing the recent update doesn't resolve the issue, run the tool again and perform a system restore by typing 3 and pressing enter. To adjust the size of the paging file, you can either let the batch file calculate the recommended size based on your RAM automatically, or input the desired size manually to customize it. The auto method can resolve low virtual memory errors, while the manual method is useful for fixing 100% disk usage, especially if free disk space is limited. If you decide to disable the store AHCI.SYS driver, verify its availability by following these steps. Type 1 and press enter. The device manager app will open. Double click on standard SATA AHCI controller to open its properties. Under the driver tab, click driver details to check if store AHCI.SYS is listed. If the driver is available, go to the details tab and select device instance path. Copy the device instance path and paste it into the batch console. Press enter to disable the driver through the registry. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can significantly reduce disk and CPU usage on your PC to normal. If this tool helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips from Valium Media Tech Channel.